Hi guys, might have planned surgeries. When it comes to knee pain, there is excessive wear and tear, pain, loss of function, difficulty in moving the joint. This is the thigh bone bio lubrication, platelet rich plasma, the rice regimen. Hi guys, it's a pleasure to see all of you again. Today I'm going to talk about knee pain once more, but I'm going to talk in detail about what are the non-surgical options which you have to treat your knee pain anywhere, any city in the world. Because I know that a lot of you might have planned surgeries or you thought that you might have surgery during the summer holidays and it has all gone for a six. And if you're somebody who'd like to see this video in Tamil, I will be adding the links in the description below. So please check it out in Tamil. Now, when it comes to knee pain, the common cause of knee pain is osteoarthritis or OA. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative disorder of the knee. What is a degenerative disorder? A degenerative disorder is one in which there is excessive wear and tear which causes pain, loss of function and difficulty in moving the joint. Now, let us look at the knee joint. So if you see, this is the thigh bone and this is the leg bone, the femur and the tibia. Now, this bone in the center is your kneecap. Now, the knee joint is the space in between the femur and the tibia. The blue structure which you see here is the meniscus or the shock absorber which is in between the knee. Now, what happens in osteoarthritis or any degenerative disorder? When you stop taking proper care of your knee, that is if you do not rest or you put it through a lot of activities which you haven't prepared the knee joint for, what happens is the ligaments and the cartilage which protects the inner surface of the knee gets worn out and that is the basic pathology in osteoarthritis and as the stage progresses pain increases basically wear and tear of the cartilage increases the thickness of the cartilage and the meniscus which is in between the tibia and the fibula becomes smaller and smaller when we do an x-ray you can see it as a reduction in the joint space on an x-ray so basically once you have wear and tear in the knee and it starts to progress what happens is you develop a condition known as varus varus is when your knee joint starts to bend inward and you start to walk somewhat like a duck because when your knee is bent in order for you to balance you'll have to separate your feet apart and walk thus giving you something like a waddling gait and when you walk like that you're able to balance but your knees still hurt if you've reached that stage it means you're in stage four or stage five of osteoarthritis and you might need surgery. If you're somebody who does not have such a bad knee issue, or you even think, so what if I have a varus deformity? Let me try a non-surgical option if there is no problem. This interventional orthopedic treatment for knee osteoarthritis is called biolubrication of the knee. Basically, we use a biomolecule called hyaluronic acid. It is a lubricant which is extremely viscous and it reduces friction when injected into the knee. Now, along with this lubricant, we also inject something called platelet-rich plasma or PRP. Now, I've spoken about PRP before and if you want to check out that video, I will add it in the descriptions below. Coming back to PRP. PRP is harvested from your blood and the healing factors in your blood are concentrated along with the growth factors. They are put through a centrifuge and almost 60 ml of blood is concentrated into 6 ml of healing factors, growth factors and anti-inflammatory factors. Now this PRP is mixed with the hyaluronic acid in a sterile manner and using an image intensification or live x-ray also known as fluoroscopy, we see which area of the knee joint is most damaged. It can be also confirmed before the procedure with an MRI or an x-ray and we infuse the mixture of the PRP and the lubricant or if you have progressive osteoarthritis we could even harvest stem cells or mesenchymal stem cells from your iliac crest concentrate them and mix them along with the PRP and the lubricant and inject it into your knee. 
Now, this procedure has to be done in the operation theater as it is a sterile procedure and the entire process from harvesting the blood to harvesting the stem cells if needed to injection of the stem cells into your joint is done in the theater as a single procedure so that there is no possibility of contamination. The procedure is done under local anesthesia but if we are harvesting stem cells from your iliac bone or your pelvic bone I suggest that we do it under spinal anesthesia which is a regional anesthesia. In case of injection of PRP or a lubricant, local anesthesia is more than enough. Now, this can be done even as an outpatient procedure. So if you're somebody who is suffering from knee pain, talk to your orthopedic surgeon about an injection of PRP with a joint lubricant called hyaluronic acid. And this should give you good relief during this period. Apart from that, I would suggest the rice regimen that is rest, icing, compression and elevation of any joint which is hurting. And also, even if you have pain in a joint, do not completely rest. Definitely do some exercise by moving around because it definitely helps in your circulation. If a joint is injured, rest and stabilize the joint, but move the rest of your body so that you keep your other joints flexible also. If you guys have any doubts, please drop in a comment below. And if you liked the video, press like and subscribe to my channel so that you get regular updates. Bye-bye.